Alright, you guys, looks like not Tommy Rowe has opted to go first. Did I really not look at any cards that entire duel? Or <laughs> does it just reset this area between duels? <laughs> There's no way I didn't mouse over at least one card. Because I was looking at, like, uh... I guess I'll watch the replay and find out. And he starts off with the first turn. Leopard. Leopard is interesting because you can get uh, Tensu and it's like a free Tensu. Because then you get a, um, a no Ooh. Not when an MST happens though. That's a tough hit. That's a tough hit. Sets two passes. He must have had another fire formation monster in his hand though. To get the Tensu. Yep, bear. I was going to guess bear that he was going to attack directly. But he's going to have the Abyss Spear for it. He does not have the Abyss Spear for it, and trust me, if you have a way to stop Bear, you're going to stop Bear, because Bear's plus is for days. So, I'm not sure what that back row is. Maybe more MSTs. Yep, more MSTs. There's no way that there's that's three MSTs is there. <laughs> That'd be crazy. I've seen people open up with uh, three MSTs before, and it never works out. <laughs> <laughs> that's just too much spell and I mean, it's really good against Fire Fist. Oh my goodness, Black Rose Dragon. Oh! Wait, which one is he going to book, though? Because if he books Bear... Okay. Okay, it doesn't even have to be face up. Yeah, that's why people use it against MST on the MST. Oh, it's a Compulse. I'm kind of confused as to why he didn't compose. Oh, it's because he had the other MST. So, he well, he still had to burn an MST for basically nothing. But Compulse is a trap better used for XC summons. Just putting the bear back in his hand wouldn't really do much either. This mermaid player kind of got screwed over in this opening, I think. So, that would have been a really sick play with the uh, Black Rose Dragon if he had gotten it off, though. He has a target for it? Oh yeah, Rooster. Oh, Leopard. My bad. So is he going to sink? Yes. Otherwise he would have overlaid instead of just sending it to the graveyard. And he's going to get that uh, level 6 Fire Fist Sync. Ooh, Vulcan the... Oh, Vulcan the Divine. Oh my gosh. And he scoops after that. To be honest, uh, it was game over. Like, that's just way too much advantage. Because Vulcan could have attacked over the face down. Bear attack for another um, direct. Um, that MST was critical since he had to force it out on the bear. But, um, anyway, I was saying uh, he would have gotten another tanky. Well, he would have gotten the tanky back to hand with Vulcan the Divine. Search with it. Use bear's effect to um, pop his face down, attack directly a bear, get another tanky, or whatever he wanted, probably just another copy of tanky, uh, attack directly with, what's that guy's name? Oh, Vulcan the Divine, I thought it was like Lion King, the other one, <laughs> is it really named Lion King? I think I'm thinking of Tiger King, but anyway, we're moving on to game three, and Wheezy is tearing it up, yeah, I guess they just reset the card um, after the duel. I knew there was no way I, like, knew what I feel. <laughs> uh, I would feel bad, actually, if I had masked over nothing, because I know there are players out there that uh, don't understand what all the cards do, especially Fire Fist is, like, an old deck. It's funny how Fire, Wist Fire Fist went from being considered to be the best deck to not being the, <laughs> the best deck. So is he going to summon Leopard... Um, He's not going to summon Leopard? Why? Does he think the guy is an effect failure or something? Like, I don't understand. Leopard is like a waste of a normal summon, and you have to free normal summon that last turn. I just want to, like, get him out of the way. Like, Leopard is good because the spirit gets him in the graveyard, but it's not better than drawing a tanky. I don't know. Rich DeWitt is the one with over... 13,000 victories <laughs> on the year. So, I'll, I'll be, have faith in him that that was the correct play. Anyway, 
This guy opened up the nuts, Pike discarding Dragoons, Tad Megalo, and uh, let me guess, Abyss Gundy. Maybe he'll add uh, Genix Undyne. Oh, Marksman. Alright, so he says that if he, okay, he's not going to pop the trap. If he had a Teus, it would be absolutely perfect to discard the Teus. I mean, sorry, summon the Teus by discarding Marksman, pop the back row, and with that Megalo, he could put probably, that's um, enough damage for game. 48 from the Megalo, 17 from the uh, um, Teus, that would have been game, so... He must not have enough water monsters in his hand to do that, although that's hard to imagine since he uh, added, um, what did he add? He added Marksman, which, and Teus is basically, actually did, why do I think he has Teus? Maybe he just doesn't. Okay, so he MSTs what? He MSTs the face down. Phoenix Wing, Wind Blast. He could have uh, wind blasted the Abyss Sphere, which would have made it so that he can't do anything. Oh, or he, did he just set that? No, he didn't. Hmm. Wing blast because it's like MSTing it. It just gets it off the field before it can resolve. I probably you could have even discarded Max C to for the. But then again, Abyss Sphere is like a power card. You don't really want your opponent to have it back on the top of their deck. So. Now, I don't understand why he didn't do this a long time ago. Um, okay. Adds Chosen, but he already wasted his, um, normal summon. Oh, he has Tensu. I didn't, I don't know what I was talking about. Alright, so Chosen, aka Fire Spirit, will get back, um, the little dude which will get back. Um, he'll probably go for Lion to re-add Spirit. I don't see why not. Alright, well, he likes the Synchro one better, apparently. I gotta read this. Maybe this one added back, too. So I just saw one level 3 Fire Monster from your deck. Wow, that's good. What? Why does he get to add Bear to the hand? Oh. I think he used Tanky twice in one turn. Okay, why did he add bear to his hand? <laughs> Does that I'm gonna ask that. It's all about that lucky 7xt that was so random. <laughs> well, I know this Mermel player is not running a uh, lucky 7, but this dimensional fissure is the nail in the casket. Is that me, or does that Lind look bright as fuck? Yeah, there's two, um... The Lind looks brighter because this is the uncensored version of the card. Oh! No, this is the censored version of the card where, um, in OCG, she has yellow armor right there. I guess it looks like Nips, and she has no armor right here. So they were like, okay, no midriff, no, not even the implication of Nips. And they... <laughs> But, uh, yeah. Just go and search. There's two pictures for Abyss Lind, and the centered one is much brighter. But, the Merman player is done. It is a shame for him that he did just draw that one more water monster he needed last turn. Um. I still don't understand how he added Bear to hand. Because <laughs> this, um, tanky is still face down. and passes back probably won't be able to put enough damage on okay um... I don't understand why oh oh he didn't even use Rooster's effect though I don't understand why he wouldn't set tanky oh uh... Levier? oh my goodness what <laughs> why the heck did he do that just for enough damage controller Con oh my lord okay that's why he didn't have the uh, w enough water monsters to finish him off last turn this 
he activates Soul Charge from the top of his deck. <laughs> which has the effect. Which has the effect. Which has the effect of summoning Black Rose Dragon from the extra deck. To me. <laughs> we got a troll on our hands, people. We got a troll on our hands. What are you doing? It's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, that was a pretty entertaining duel, guys. This has been Slacker Magician. It's been a pleasure being your narrator. And, uh, signing out.